38.com 8B.38, another site from Turkey, Pergamon and its multi-layered culture landscape. I now invite Mr. Balsamo. You have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Just to recall that we received a, a factual error notification on, concerning the nomination of Pergamon, which is to be found on page 115 of document INF 8B4 Rev. Thank you. Thank you. Thirk, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I now give ICOMOS the floor. You have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. ICOMOS evaluation can be found at page 280 of doc in document inf.8 B1 in its English version. This is a serial nomination of nine components which all together is proposed as a cultural landscape. Pergamon acted as the capital of the Hellenistic Attalid dynasty and later became the capital of the Roman province of Asia until the 15th century of the Christian era. It has been nominated under criteria 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 because the Hellenistic city exhibits urban planning, its location and masterly adaptation of the built fabric to the topography, the technological arrangement and the still living monument, the integration of Anatolian and Hellenistic cults with a view for a long-term political strategy, and finally for its multi-layered history spanning from the Hellenistic through Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman periods. The major components include the Kale Hill with the Acropolis, the Hellenistic and the Roman remains of the Kale, on the Kale Hill slopes, the surviving remains from the Byzantine epoch and the Ottoman town of Bergama, which grew on the Kale Hill slopes. The Hellenistic and Roman monuments of the Acropolis were conceived to adapt to the difficult topography of the Kale Hill. Remains of the theater, of the temples, of the great altar, the agorary, the residential and commercial areas all attest to the achievements of the Atalids. During the Roman period, improvements to the water supply system were made to serve a triplicated population. Advanced engineering was applied to renovate the city with new temples and public buildings. In this period, the city expanded southwest of the Salinus Brook, where the famous Asclepian healing center was constructed. The city shrank in the Byzantine epoch, and as we said before, only the remains of the St. John church built over a temple has survived, or at least this is what has been presented in the nomination dossier. It further expanded on the slopes of the Hal Hill during the Ottoman period. Component two includes the Kibele Sanctuary, which was erected by the founder of Pergamon on Kapikaya Hill, some kilometers northwest of the Kal Hill and in its direct view as a form of recognition of the local cults. The remaining components are tumuli or burial mounds of Pergamon rulers that have been progressively incorporated into the Ottoman and the modern town. Some of them have been excavated, while others, unfortunately, were looted. The comparative analysis focused in the dossier focused only on the Hellenistic and Roman epochs, but not on the Byzantine and Ottoman layers. However, the selection of the components appeared justified, at least for the Hellenistic and Roman period, in Icom's view. Unfortunately, almost no information was given on the layout and structures of the Byzantine city, so the justification for this proposal does not cover all areas and periods of the series. The town from the Ottoman period has also been included in the nomination because it has been built over the Roman remains. The property appears to adequate to, of adequate size to present the city and its feature concerning its Hellenistic and Roman uh, um, periods. The, Roma, uh, the surviving ancient monuments in situ credibly express the value of the property and its role in ancient times. The nomination, however, does not convey how the Byzantine and Ottoman phases contribute to justify the proposed OUV of the series, nor does it convincingly demonstrate that Pergamon has outstanding universal value, has a multi-layered landscape. Criterion 1 appears, in Icomo's view, justifiable for the town planning and the monumental architecture and infrastructure dating back to the Hellenistic and Roman period, but not for the vestiges dating back to the later periods. The incorporation of the Egyptian gods and of the cult of Kibele into the Hellenistic and then Roman cultural sphere where represents the value interchange that also allowed for Pergamon to flourish. As for criterion three, in Icon's view, it reiterates arguments used for criterion two, 
while criterion four has not been fully justified. Most of the arguments proposed for criterion six have been used also for criterion two. However, the two criteria may be justified in conjunction. However, ICOMOS feels that the criteria so far justified, appear justified for the Hellenistic and Roman period because the nomination and its comparative analysis focused on these aspects. In the table, summarize uh, the ECOMOS assessment in this regard. The main threats to the property are the urban development and forest fire hazard. In concerning legal protection, all parts of the series um, require protection at the higher level, highest level uh, as a one entity. Some illegal uh, building activities have been carried out within the nominated boundaries of the nominated property, but this issue is currently being addressed by the state party and the local authorities. The overall management framework is based on the environmental management plan and the urban conservation plan of Bergama, regulating works within the urban area, and Bergama municip municipality manages the series. In summary, in ICOM's view, the boundaries <coughs> does not appear adequate at present. Those of component one should be revised and the buffer zone should be expanded or modified. In particular, should be enlarged concerning the minor components and connection between the component one and component two, uh, buffer zone of component one should join the boundaries of component two, the temple of Kibele. The protection needs strengthening and seismic monitoring established and the management plan should also be finalized and implemented. In ICOMOS view, the nomination dossier does not articulate the justification sufficiently and consistently so to sustain the nomination of Pergamon as a multi-layered landscape. The comparative analysis, the arguments, and the selection of the components show that Pergamon stands out in combining the Hellenistic and Roman cities and its monument in connection with the mounds and the Kibele sanctuary only. Therefore, ICOMOS recommends that the nomination of Pergamon be deferred so as to allow the state party to refocus the nomination, reduce the boundaries of component one, <coughs> modify and adapt the boundaries for component two, strengthen the legal protection at the national level for the whole revised series and of the buffer zone to limit construction to two stories, complete and implement the management plan. ECOMOS also recommends the revision of the name as it considers that Pergamon does not belong in the category of cultural landscape. There are also complementary recommendations for the best management of the property. Thank you. Thank you. Republic of Korea, you have the floor.